Roblox has added new things and has changed others in their community standards, and it's actually sounding pretty good. Recently, Roblox put out an update for the TOS, which includes some stuff that I feel is pretty beneficial to Roblox and its players. I first saw this from Mafu Saku on Twitter, and let's waste no time and get into some of these big new TOS updates. The first one we'll look at is perhaps the most interesting and may even warrant its own video because of how big it could be. Roblox added a rule prohibiting adding background noise to an audio to make it unintelligible and excessive loudness or screaming in audio or voice chat. Basically, your audio has to be understandable and your audios and voice chat can't be screaming or ear-bleeding sounds. So if you're a little kid who likes screaming or making noises through your mic or you like uploading loud audio, you may be in trouble. It's an understandable rule, but it's the timing and placement of the rule that's very interesting which we'll be going over again later in this video. There's also another rule talking about audio that prohibits quoting or using audio with lyrics inappropriate for Roblox. The next rule is one I know a lot of people will like as it relates to online dating and the clothes you often see those people wear. Unwanted flirting and explicit adult conversations or trying to get adult stuff from other users is now listed in the TOS. Also mentioned is suggestive clothes, which is pretty vaguely mentioned but it's definitely nice to see and could be a big thing. Could this just be for not allowing suggestive clothes to be uploaded, which Roblox has always been against? Or could this not allow for wearing them? Again, this is another super interesting change that could be bigger than first thought of, that we'll talk about later in this video too. The next one a lot of people will like too, as it specifically prohibits claiming sales of an item will go towards a cause. So people can't say proceeds from the sales of their items will go to charity and stuff like that, no matter if they're telling the truth or not. This has actually become a problem in games like Please Donate, where people lie about donating and helping to fatten their own pockets with Robux. Roblox banning that makes total sense as they have no way to tell if the owner is actually donating proceeds or is just scamming. The last interesting rule is that you can't record kids' voices without authorization or I assume have take or post images of them either. Other than that, there's nothing too notable, just new stuff to simplify and clarify things like this new rule banning scam links, which was obviously never allowed anyway. But some of these new rules are very intriguing and could be a sign of big things to come. Some of y'all may have already caught on to a specific one. Before we get into them though, let's just be clear that these are new rules. It's not like this is going to improve moderation. The rules and the moderators are two different things, probably organized by two different teams. Some mods may not even know of these rules yet. An immediate and noticeable change because of these rules is highly unlikely, but that doesn't mean these rules are utterly useless. One thing that really has me interested here is this vague mention of suggestive avatar clothes prohibiting it from... what exactly? Could this just be there to further prevent uploading that kind of stuff? Or could we see people get banned for owning such clothes? Also, what would Roblox consider suggestive clothes? Would clothes like these count as possibly being banned under this new rule? Personally, I'd be totally fine with Roblox banning people for owning extreme examples of suggestive clothes like stuff from Meep City. There's no confirmation that this will ban people who own stuff and could very well just be in regards to uploading, but we'll see. Then there are these rules which I find to be the most intriguing as they relate to audios. Adding new rules for audios is kind of strange, especially under the disruptive content and behavior section since hardly anybody uses them. Nobody can use audios to disrupt others' experience, whether that means a game or just someone playing, as we can't use them anymore. Unless Roblox plans to re-enable audio usage and these new rules are in preparation for the return of audios. Let's just make this clear, I know nothing of any possible return of audios, this is just a random thought I had when I saw the new rules. Why would Roblox be adding new rules for audios if they can't be used by anyone aside from you in your own game? Nobody's adding audios into their own games to disrupt players in it, so why is Roblox adding this new rule now? Next week is the one year anniversary of the audio privacy update coming into effect. Maybe Roblox has resolved things during that time. Who knows though, maybe this rule has nothing to do with that, and maybe Roblox won't bring back audio usage ever. Overall, I think these new rules are pretty good, and while moderation is what it is, it's nice to see Roblox try to make things safer. Some of the rules like this may be used in extreme situations as a reason to ban the worst of the worst. Other rules like the audio ones could be a sign of big things to come. What do you think about these new rules? Do you love them or hate them? Leave a like and comment your thoughts down below.